Traditionally, GIS at water organizations and utilities has been done in 2D, but that's changing thanks to the rich 3D capabilities of ArcGIS Pro and the ArcGIS platform. Here, we see a water system represented in this scene being visualized in 3D. We can see 3D pipes, we can see the valves, hydrants, and even service connections all being visualized in 3D alongside of the 3D building footprints. But it doesn't just stop with visualization in ArcGIS Pro. Designers and engineers can use ArcGIS Pro and the utility network to perform tasks like a valve isolation trace. This will help them identify the valves needed to close an area in order to make a repair or plan for an outage. Performing this analysis in 3D provides much greater real-world context in the event of an actual emergency and can help crews efficiently respond much better to an event. 3D GIS isn't just for engineers or GIS professionals using ArcGIS desktop. It can also be used out in the field by crews and supervisors. Here we see a 3D treatment plant facility along with the water treatment tanks. As we enter into the building, we can start to see individual plant assets. See these tanks, the pipes, the valves that make up the system. We also see a utility box that's lit up in yellow. This indicates there's an alarm with the SCADA system. We can actually link out to that SCADA system information right within this 3D scene. We can get to the dashboard displaying all of the events within the system, and we can see individual SCADA information right inside the pop-up. This is going to provide supervisors and crews with the information they need while out in the field responding to events. The same information can be viewed out in the field on a mobile device. So plant operations and personnel can have access to the information they need before they ever even enter into the building. They also have the ability to look at all of the assets and locate assets. In this case, maybe a particular valve. They can collaborate with operations supervisors on an approach for a safety plan to be able to perform maintenance or shut off a particular process within the plant. They can also access things like user manuals if they're unfamiliar with this particular valve or a need to perform some maintenance that they're not familiar with. They have access to all of the documentation they need to safely be able to perform that particular task. And this is very helpful for not only supervisors, but also field crews to be able to have this kind of information at their fingertips while they're out in the field to ensure the safety of crews and that their response is the most effective that it can be for every single event.